Hey, 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 hey. Ah, 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 oof. Ah, e ah, ooh, ah. Okay, I'm done. Isle of Armor, you have an armor pass. Show it to the rail staff and wedge her station if you want to visit the Isle of Armor. You'll be able to set out on a new adventure where you can catch rare Pokemon and grow your team. Cool. All right. What is going on, guys? Melon's here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, I am here with uh, a weird, weird video. What the f are you doing here, Nick? Identify yourself. Who the f are you? Uh, obviously, you guys saw saw the intro, and uh, yeah, I just, you know, YouTube for me has just been kind of all over the place. I'm gonna be real. I haven't uploaded. Uh, that consistently since I think before quarantine a lot of stuff's happened in my life I had a I don't want to get into too much detail, but um a passing of a relative I had a you know school to finish up at the time and with like Classes being like completely different now and uh, them being online It's kind of been a little awkward getting back into the YouTube scene But I actually just finished school about a week ago I finally gave myself a little bit of a break and I, I think I'm ready to get back to work because not being productive to me is like You know, it's like a death sentence in a way because I just don't feel like I'm doing anything in my life at the moment You know so for those of you who have never seen my channel or are only seeing this video because you have seen the Isle of Armor hype this is uh, a let's play that I had going on the channel, but unfortunately I had to uh, stop it because school, for those of you who don't know, I am uh, I go to college and I start spring up in about a month or two. So for that time being, I'm going to see how many videos I can get out for the, for, uh, for the next month and a half or so. So I don't know if I ever showed it, but this ended up being my entire team as far as like, you know, finishing the mainstream part of the game. So I had... Um, an Eldegoss, which I named Puffy, which was one of like the first and only grass types I ever saw in the entire game. And so grass types a big favorite typing of mine. It's like top five. So I definitely wanted one. So I picked her up very early on. Um, Odin, which is our Persecker, is the evolution of Meowth. This version's Meowth evolution. So that was really cool. You got to uh, a little bit different because obviously he's not Persian. He's literally standing on his hind legs, if that was the case. But uh, this was the last Pokemon that I decided to pick up. I picked him up, I think, around the 6th or 7th gym. And honestly, he's a pretty awesome Pokemon. Like, the look of him, he's just so cool looking. Like, I've never, they did so good, like, adding a new kind of, like, form for Meowth. And I love it. And then next was uh, actually our Lockjaw. Now, this guy is one of my oldest Pokemon. He's probably, besides my starter, because obviously I didn't feel like using the starter. Um... I rocked with this. I rocked out with this guy. I mean, he was probably my. He's probably the oldest Pokemon on my on my team. I ended up switching in for my starter because I wasn't really a fan of any of the evolutions for this generation. And then we have our fire type Sizzle, our Scorch. and this guy I think was the third one I added on the team. He was a, a bug bug fire, which is a it's a very peculiar typing. You haven't seen a lot of those since like Gen five when uh, Full Corona came out. So this was a this was a cool addition to the team. I didn't know he could uh, Gigantamax. I didn't realize, but I think what Dreadnought. We have two gi Gigantamax Pokemon that can like change forms. Both of these dudes, but I never got them because apparently you can only get them from like I think Gigantamax raids, which is kind of lame. I would I wish they would have added where it was kind of like Mega Evolution where you could just like add it onto them. Next was our Alcrame. Now this was the fourth Pokemon I added to the team about I would say two or three gyms into the game. Um, he evolved from, or she evolved from Milky, which was this little like milk blob that like floated in the air. And then when it evolved into this, it was so cute. Like literally, like the strawberries on the head and it's a fairy type. I never used the fairy type in any of my playthroughs, so this was a good addition to the team. And then finally was my, I think this was my fifth, and this was Elexic, my Toxtricity, which uh, you get, this is the egg Pokemon that you get from this generation. Now... I've seen its brother, the other one, the the yellow and purple one. But honestly, I, I debated on switching to him, but like I, I would just be doing this dude wrong, you know? Like I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't get as much love as the other brother, Toxtric Toxtricity. Such a hard word to say. And so that's pretty much what we use throughout the entire game. As you can see, some of them are higher level than others. 
that's just because I prefer to use like Odin I, I probably want to use the most and then uh, a legs like those two but then I realized like literally all of them have Gigantamax forms so now I kind of just didn't want to rock them anymore it's kind of messed up but you know it's whatever and so that's pretty much it guys I mean like I've transferred a bunch of old Pokemon from like my childhood like if, if we go down the list you could see all the Pokemon these are all years old years old from old generations that I've transferred from a bunch of old Pokemon games I played pretty much every installment in the in Pokemon series I even went back and played three two and one generations three two and one and yeah that's pretty much it I mean we're gonna be uh, for when we go to Isle of Armor right now we're gonna rock a Charizard and then the gallery and slowpoke because he's new and nobody's seen his evolution yet and Meltan just because I've never actually had Melmetan besides having him in Pokemon Go so that'd be cool to you know see if he I don't even know if he evolves so that'll be cool to check out but yeah guys that's enough of me rambling I think it's finally time that we actually get into the game you know I mean it's like two hours that this DLC has been on I haven't even started so uh, without further ado welcome to Pokemon Isle of Armor okay so they said the first part was to go to Wedgehurst if I wasn't mistaken which is right here okay so let's go ahead and fly over there Okay, now let's see, we gotta go to this train station. Now I don't exactly remember. Is it right here? This is it, right? It's literally been like probably six months since I played this game. I'm gonna be real. Oh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. Where would you like to go today? Armor station. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh shoot, oh, look at this. Oh, so we have to take another station. Oh, interesting. Holy crap, this looks dope. The Isle of Armor. Oh, this is cool. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island to your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Alright, cool been updated the Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex when you've caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor come back and show me your Pokedex cool all right before I actually want to check that out real quick so how many Pokemon did they add in this game we pretty much have a total of a hundred Pokemon to catch because if you look down here if you click on Isle of Armor Pokedex it's 207 and I've seen hundred and seven of them so it's a hundred new Pokemon so it's not a lot I really wish they would just add the whole decks like they said they would, but it's whatever. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside the station. I'm a bit scared to head out. Is this that dude with the weird hat from like six months ago? Hmm, you're the traveler I'm supposed to guide, am I right? Exactly when we agreed to meet, too. Quite the commendable punctuality. I got the strangest feeling we've met before. But I can't recall. And here, I thought Amnesia was Slowpoke's move. My name is Avery. I'm a senior member of the dojo you are to join. What dojo? You're here to join the master dojo, are you not? I'm also I'm also trained there. I, I, I can't read. <laughs> oh, I'm pretending to be that other guy, I guess. My goodness, this this is a thick one. Like a poor lost Wooloo. This it's up to me as an elegant adult to make sure they get the message. I thought that said massage. Oh god. Yo, also, what's going on with that that hat he's got? He's got all his Pokemon in like a psychic trance. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps a show of strength is the best way to get to know each other. I'll I'll wait you outside. Once you're ready, come out and face me. Time to show him who the better trainer is. Well, I pretty much only have Charizard, and he's level 100, so, and he's got, like, all IVs maxed out and stuff, so, he's gonna kind of wipe the floor with everybody. Oh, and already we're just thrown into a wild area, that's pretty epic. Hmm, this is your first visit to the Isle of Armor. Would you, uh, you would no doubt like to run around and explore freely, but first, let's make sure you can handle yourself. Naturally, as a member of the Master Dojo... I'll be using my psychic powers to test your strength. Come on, don't overexert yourself. I 
Ah, um, could you, could you give me a moment? Improbable, no, impossible. What kind of trick did this kid use? Um, I used flamethrower twice with my Charizard. If a trainer of this talent arrives at the dojo, then people there very well may suffer amnesia about my very existence. If only I could get rid of him. But I've been tasked with escorting him to the dojo. Ahem. You have potential. Why, you made me use a whole 3% of my strength. Still, how shall I put this? Our dojo is a respected place where even the famous champion Leon trained. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're quite up to the snuff. Well, I beat Leon. Therefore, I suggest you ignore the master dojo standing over there and head home as soon as you're done seeing the sights. I suppose you can have this too as a parting gift. Style card. Okay, interesting. A card that increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. Oh my god, look at that. Waylord! Holy crap! That is so cool. They didn't, they didn't add Waylord. He was already added, I'm pretty sure. But dude, there's so much to explore. I don't know what the limit is. Can I open map? Let me open this map. Holy crap, this place is huge! There's gonna be so much to explore, I'm so excited. What's this crown right here? Interesting. Well, we could do that for another episode. Let's let's go continue onward. I wanna see what new Pokemon they've added. Oh, it's Alolan Diglett. To her, thank you for finding my Diglett. Is it from Alola? Oh, and expect someone who knows about it. That's right, this Diglett is from the Alola region. When I traveled to Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. I, I caught a lot of Diglett there and came back. But they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. Anyway, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have the talent for finding Diglett. If it's okay, will you find the, all the other Diglett too? Sure. Oh, what, what a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful I am. You found one Diglett so far, so please find 150 more Diglett. Huh? This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. If you find them... Please tell them to come back to me. Oh my god. Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home? It would appear so. I'll have you know. My offer to escort him there... To escort them was perfect? My offer to escort them. Who? Who's, who's them? He'd rather abruptly absconded? Hopefully I'm reading that right after our battle. And, I, and I'd be hoping we'd get to welcome a new member to our little family here too. Why, well, hello, and who are you, love? Gah. <laughs> of course, you must be the new students that's supposed to join the JoJo today. Uh, sure. That's kind of gross. Now listen. If you dare breath a word of what happened at the station to Miss Honey, well, let's just say my psychic powers are very potent. Do I make myself clear? Well, I mean, I kind of beat your ass, so I'm going to be real. You don't stand a chance, dog. Is that the new legend? It's just kind of vibing there? Can't wait to add him to the team. That's going to be fun. Oh, whoa. Okay, now everybody's showing up. That's cool. Everybody's got their dojo uniforms on. Wow, check this out. Everybody, I have an announcement to make. We've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome John. I'm sure you'll have a lots to teach him. 
Hiya! Welcome to the dojo. All of our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Now here's someone who's not listed in my database of students. This is Hyde, my darling only son. Are you some kind of outlier here? You should give this a try. I'm probably gonna fast forward all of this. I'm gonna be real. Like, it's kind of just like, eh. Experience charm. A charm that increases experience points that Pokemon could get. A machine-like object is inside the charm. But don't open it, okay? What happens if I open it? I got tech I developed inside. I don't want you to go and ruin it. So he's like a tech whiz kid. I can't, I can't be bothered listening to all of this. I've already read every single little bit of dialogue up to this point. Only the interesting stuff. My name is Mustard. What kind of name is Mustard? I'm just going to one-tap him with my Charizard real quick, like. It shouldn't be too hard. I wouldn't hope he had every, anything over, like, 70, 80. Because then it would just be kind of... Uh, uh, Alright, he's at two Pokemon. Mean Fu? That just got added, that's for sure. Yo, I like this music, though. It's kind of It's kind of nice. I lost. You're pretty strong, aren't you? Hey, the newbie won. Master wasn't going all out, but that's still pretty impressive. Who's that kid anyway? No way! I'm that kid, bro, but I'm actually 20. Ain't no kid. I want my freaking gi, man. Give me my gi. You! Damn, I look kind of fresh though. Uh, actually, I don't really like the jacket. And holy crap, what's wrong with my hair? <laughs> I didn't know I had that much hair back there. With John here now, the dojo is at max capacity. It's time to get our training started. Y'all be able, y'all be facing three trials. Three trials. Why is there a max capacity for this dojo? And there's more. The person who completes all three trials will receive the secret armor of this dojo. Ooh. wonder what that is. Alright, let me explain the first trial. Pardon me, Master. I haven't received my uniform yet. What the hell? That wasn't Slowpoke. Literally got slow in his name. You must chase after those fast slowpokes, traded with care by little old me. But that's not all, you'll need to defeat them too. And while you're at it, could you get Avery's Dojo uniform back? Okay. Holy crap, there's a lot more wild area, that's for sure. That is nuts. Well, we have a lot of game to get through, that's for sure. This is going to be fun, man. I'm excited. It's been a long time coming, and I can't wait to freaking start doing this again. Well, but before I continue, I think we're going to go ahead and end it right there, guys. This is my first video back. Uh, we are making this head to a Let's Play, and hopefully we can go from there. We can start making even more videos, but I'm not going to get anybody's hopes up. For now, let's just enjoy the Let's Play. And with that being said, guys, my name is Melons. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, go down there, hit that sub button. If not, all good. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.